In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit upon all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions and your old men will dream dreams. Hello, my name is Mariah and in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys about a dream I had. Hey everyone, my name is Scott and I'm gonna share a dream, vision, uh, I'm not too sure what it is with you and in regards to rapture. And this video is actually very serious. But for those who, who hear this message and understand that this is not a game. But this dream has literally shook me to my core. Hi, I'm Gary Greenlee. During the last few years, a phenomenon is taking place where people all over the world are having rapture dreams at an increasing rate. These are just some of them. So the dream is pretty simple. Um, it started with me walking um, down a sidewalk in like this neighborhood that um, I had never been to before. Um, I feel like this wind blow over my head, right? So I looked up like to see what it was. And I see like this giant eagle. This eagle is huge, like, and translucent like at this point I started panicking I don't know like I felt this sense of urgency and understanding that something was about to happen I just felt like uneasy like something's about to happen and why do I feel this way in this vision it was like I was in the in the in the city and as I was standing there I heard a loud sound of a trumpet and it and it blew for for, for quite a while and so as it as it was blowing I I heard what it sounded like an army that was marching and you can hear the echo of, of each footstep like they march with such authority to the point where it's like that when they were marching you can you can feel the ground shake I began to just get into such such fear on what I saw this was an army that looked like they looked like horses. They're kind of like human-like in some way. These horses, and the physique that I saw on them, they, they were strong. They were very muscular, and even in their face, their faces looked so fierce. Like they had this look, like they were on the mission and they were going to accomplish that mission and they were going to do, you know, all that was commanded of them to do. And they they looked like they they were. It was not a joke on what I saw. I see these three giant angels, like, and it was like, what? You know, I'm seeing angels. There was this noise, this, this no. It was the most terrifying part of the dream. Like, I heard this noise, like a horn sound, like a siren sound, and it was terrifying. It was terrifying. It was almost as if there were like speakers embedded in the earth. I knew somehow that the entire world could hear it too. And then I saw like they had breastplates on and I saw, you know, what was on their heads. It was it was gold. I began to, to see the fear of the people when they saw this army. And they began to, to run in, in complete fear because they were scared on what this army was about to do. And then all of a sudden, I saw this army just disperse out, and they began to to, to, to torment the people, and the people began to just scream in, in pain and agony because of what this army was doing. And so when I turned to Revelation 9, it talks about that. And it was talking about the fifth angel that sounded his trumpet, and it was talking about the star that fell from heaven. He was given a key to the bottomless pit. And when he opened up that pit, 
what came out of that pit was locusts that came upon the earth. And it was giving them power as scorpions of the earth to have power. Now they were commanded not to harm the grass of the earth or any green thing or any tree, but only those men who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads. They were not given authority to kill them, but to torment them for five months. And their torment was like the torment of a scorpion when it strikes a man. This has never happened to me, by the way. I've never had a rapture dream. I've never had a vision. I've never had God spiritually, physically show me anything before until now. I heard God call out to me and said, Scott, all I remember is saying yes, you know? Is this me? Is this God? I, I don't, I don't, I didn't know at that point. In those days, men would seek death and would not find it. They would desire to die and death will flee from them. What a sad place to be in, to want to die, but can't. Death will flee from them. <sighs> the shape of the locust was like horses prepared for battle. On their heads were crowns of something like gold, and their faces were like the faces of men. They had hair like women's hair, and their teeth were like lion's teeth. They had breastplates like breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was like the sounds of chariots with many horses running into battle. They had tails like scorpions, and they were, and there were stings in their tails. Their power was to hurt men for five months. The Lord said to me, I need you to repent before I could show you what I need to show you. So I repent from anything that I poss possibly could think of, past, present, and future, and just whatever, okay. He said, I, I am coming very soon. And so I just repeated back to him, I say, okay, so you're coming soon. And if, if, he responded back and said, yes. And then I was like, okay, now God, if this is me, please let me know because I don't want to I don't want to be playing games with my mind if this is the enemy I rebuke you in Jesus name all that and I didn't get nothing so then I repeated back so you're coming back very soon and he said yes I had a dream I was at some party with my family friend we we're all in the field playing, having fun, I don't know what we're doing. And then we hear a noise, but it's nothing like a trumpet. We just hear a noise. And then as soon as we hear that noise, I say, my mouth, I say, guys, imagine if we just hear the trumpet, bam, bam, nah. And as soon as I said that, the trumpet blew. <laughs> Bro. I hear it again, I'm coming very soon, urgent. And I said, okay, Lord, I'm bad at listening. I'm, I'm horrible listener. So can you show me instead of tell me? And he did. I don't know where I see we're in the clouds. Now I don't see that we're in the clouds. I don't know where. And I remember like right here, my diaphragm hurt so bad. And I remember losing my breath. I was like, Phew. but I'm like, my body's not doing nothing. I don't even know what's happening. All I know is I'm in the clouds and I'm looking around like this, right? I don't see anybody but I, I know I'm surrounded by believers. Like, I have this warm feeling, like I know these people, I know everybody. And me, I'm confident about the rapture, yeah? Like, before this dream. But that day, I was trembling. People started going up here. Like, only 20 people out of 500 left. And I was on my knees, I was crying, I was like, God, please, 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 don't let me be here by myself. Take me with you, take me with you. I said, Jesus, are you telling me, and I repeated it, are you telling me that when we get raptured, sudden destruction is going to come down immediately? And he said, yes. And then he said, listen. So I listened, and there was screaming, there was crying, there was laughter, there was, the screaming was weeping, guys. Like, t like the craziest stuff was happening down here when we were up there. And uh, it was terrifying. I look down and it's just straight orange. There's no blue, there's no green, there's no colors, there's no mountains, it's just red.
and I see this light, brightest light, and it actually hurt my eyes to where I was squinting. I was like this. And in that light was a silhouette of a man. And I said, is this you, Jesus? And he said, yes. And then he went like this, put his hands down. And you could see through the hands. You could see through the hands, you know, the, cru the crucifixion, the nails. You could see through the hands. He said, look down. And I looked down and all I could see was fire. I can't even put into words. I've honestly been up most of the night. The dream started with me and my husband and our kids somewhere. Um, it actually looked like my old childhood home that I remember. But we're standing around, listening, anticipating, and I look over at my two daughters. I see this light encompass it, like outlined their bodies and overtook their bodies and they just went up. It happened so fast yet so slow where my eyes could see what was taking place and they just stopped and the crowds went gray and then everyone was just, everyone just scattered and then after I ended up in like a dark place. I was like to God, why did you leave me behind? Why did you leave me behind? This dream felt so real. I was so scared I did not want to wake up. Because I thought, if I wake up, I'm going to be in this world by myself and everyone has been raptured. But I looked at my husband and he looked at me and he looked like he was worried. I was like, it's fine. It's fine. I know where they're going. You know where they're going. And they were just gone. And then I, my husband and I look at each other in anticipation, like, are we going? Is this happening? And I see the same thing start happening to him. I see this outline of light take over his body and as he starts to lift up I grab his hand and I must have been transforming at the same time as him we shoot through the roof and it's like we're going through space and time when I heard this siren or horn I had this feeling and I've never really had like feelings in dreams at this point like like a an actual feeling feeling like a scared feel I was scared there was just this understanding that there was just no hope. And when I say no hope, I mean like, I had no instinct to like run or try to save myself, look around for other people. I just stood there frozen, just listening to this siren sound. And I remember thinking like, it's over. And next thing I know, I look at my hands like this. And all the calluses and all the scars on my hands slowly disappeared. It was like a shedding of my skin to new skin. And it was so bright, it was so bright, and it all happened at once. And I said to myself, after that happened, am I in the throne room? And I look, and there's a sea of glass. And it's so clear, and it's so pretty. Now, I only got a glimpse of it. I just saw the sea of glass, and I looked, and I wasn't allowed to see anything else. I was anxious a little bit, too, and wondering and worrying about, oh my gosh, I hope he doesn't look back because he's worried about the kids. And then this voice said to me, do not look back. And I didn't, I kept my eyes fixated. We stopped somewhere, I don't know. I can't explain it, we just got to another place. And it looked like a gathering place. It wasn't like our final destination, if that makes sense, but it was like a gathering place. And there was some people there, but there wasn't a lot yet. And then I saw Jesus' face. Now, guys, he looked so real. When I saw him, the peace and the joy and everything that I hated about me and hated about anything was taken away like that. There was this man there and he was standing off to the side like he was waiting on us and some people were going through their emotions like I was when I got there. Whoever this man was and I perceived him as Jesus and I fell down at his feet and threw my arms around his legs and his feet and I wept. And he and 
looked at me in the eyes and went out to touch my face like this and said, welcome home. And I felt the whole, I, just, I felt everything. And I instantly, I'm even getting emotional now. I instantly got emotional and I woke up crying. And he said, please share this. And I remember opening my eyes in the middle of the night after this happened. And I honest to God could not believe that it didn't really happen. It felt that real to me. When I went online, I thought like when I was, I was Googling it, right? And I was like, dream about an eagle, a wolf, three angels and a horn, right? And as I was, you know, looking through articles and stuff, came across a Bible verse, you guys. And it was Revelation 8:13. As I watched, I heard an eagle that was flying in midair call out in a loud voice, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth because of the trumpet blasts about to be sounded by the other three angels. When I read this, I just knew I like I knew God gave me that dream. Like it wasn't enough to believe in the Christian God at the time. I was like, that's cr like this is from God. This has to be that that's some kind of divine warning. And this <laughs> this happened. I'm not saying that's how the rapture is going to take place, but I'm telling you. This is one of the most real dreams I've had, and I've had a lot of dreams that have shook me to my core. I know how far-fetched this kind of stuff is, and um, this was not just a dream. Like, this was something that I've never experienced before. It was something bigger than coincidence. And I just want to tell people today, you might think that I'm crazy or delusional talking about this vision, and, you know, that's fine. But for those who, who hear this message, please take it into consideration and understand that this is not a game. Please don't ignore the prophetic events that are taking place today. The Bible is fulfilling itself at rapid speed. And it, and it said they they tormented those who did not have the seal of God on the seal of God on them. And so I, I tell you, if you're not in a place where you have God in your life, it's time to get there. Please repent and turn back to Jesus Christ. Accept him as your Lord and Savior before it's too late. Don't wait to the last minute because you may not have the opportunity to repent if you wait to the last minute. But do you know why I got left behind? God told me to do something and I rushed it so I can go do something else that is in the world. God is supposed to be first. God is supposed to be your number one priority. And I rushed God because I wanted to do something on social media. Listen, take God seriously, yeah? He's not just something. He's, he is the, he's the Alpha and Omega. He's the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. We shouldn't be putting God second. We shouldn't be rushing, rushing God and like, oh yeah, let me quickly do, do this God thing. And then let me go to the world and do rubbish. Are you mad? You know, some people feel like they, that, 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 life you know they're they're they feel like they they have time they feel like you know they have you know some years to to finally get it right so they're not really thinking about nothing they don't want to consider the bible they don't want to consider jesus christ they feel like they still have you know many things to do but i'm gonna tell you something you don't know when your day will come you don't know when god will call your name you don't know you need to make sure, yeah, that your soul is secured. You can't be following your friends because your friends are not going to be the ones that will help you on that day of rapture. Only Jesus can help you. And once you are left behind, it's not even a joke. Guys, we need to put God first. We need to really put him first because these days, a lot of Christians, we're lukewarm now and the Christian community is just dividing. As in, we're supposed to be Christians, but we don't even show love to each other. How are we gonna go evangelize and spread the gospel to someone when we're not even showing love to ourselves? It's important that we understand that God is not playing.
God means business. He means what he says. Jesus is coming back. Like, and I sometimes I can't believe that I'm saying that. Like, it's, but he really is coming back, and it's going to be terrifying. It's going to be terrifying for those who just don't know the truth about why they're here, who they are, and what their purpose is. It's going to be absolutely horrifying. I would know what I saw, and I was shown it for a reason, and I'm telling all of you right now that it's happening, and you better believe, because time's coming short. It's urgent. That's all he said. And I give this this message with with humility and with a, and with a a grieving heart because I know that even with this vision and of course many other things that happen and many other visions that that God is giving people and that they're expressing that people still will ignore it they still will act like you know it is it is a delusion it's not real it's not going to happen and you know it's it's sad that people still have that mindset. They still have hardened hearts. They still are in the place where they don't want nothing to do with Jesus. We're all gonna stand in front of God. We're all gonna stand in front of God and it's gonna be like, I didn't know you, depart from me, or well done, my good and faithful servant. And I know a lot of us don't wanna be, we don't want Jesus telling us, depart from me. I'm changed forever. I, I was a believer, but now, I'm full believer, I'm fully complete. There's no denying. You cannot deny the story. I don't want any of you to go to the wrong direction. Just try Jesus, try God. Let's just see who this Jesus guy is that everyone's talking about. If you're a skeptic, that's okay. I was too, I was an atheist, you know? Um, he saves those too. If you are watching this and you don't know Jesus Christ, you can know him, it's not too late. You can ask him just the same way I did. Um, you can ask him, just ask him to reveal himself and he will, he loves you. And it's not because of what you've done, it's just in his nature. I want to say, guys, there's a person that loves you, that will love you like nobody else. And that person is Jesus. And I'm saying this from my heart. Like, Jesus will love you. He will be there for you when your friends are moving fake. I'm making this video as a warning because I was so scared when I woke up. As in, I had to repent and ask God for forgiveness because then I started to see that I've been having some idols in my life that I need to remove. But all I can say is, to whoever listens to this video and is taking it to heart, you know, share it with, with friends, with family, with co-workers, share it with whoever you need to share it with to, to let people know that time is, is, is getting closer. It's getting closer. It's getting closer and closer to the come to the return of Jesus Christ. So many Christians, we're not talking about the rapture, but that is a disaster. That day is going to be hectic if you're left behind, bro. No joke. Why are we not talking about it? Why are we not talking about the biggest thing that is about to happen in this world? No one's talking about it. I don't understand. It's like we don't even care about anyone else. We need to start spreading the gospel. Know that he loves you so much, and he is sending out all these messages to draw every last person to him before he comes for his church. So I just want to share this vision and share this word I pray that it be a blessing to you and I pray that it that it will cause you to, to wake up and see things are happening. Prophetic events are unfolding rapidly. He touched me. I know him. I was in the sky. It's coming. Just be ready, please. If there's anyone watching these videos and you do not know Jesus Christ, please ask him into your heart as your Lord and Savior. And all I can say is, Again, accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior before it is too late. Just ask him to reveal himself, and he will. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Bye, guys. I love you. Y'all be blessed. Love you guys. All right, guys. Until next time.
God bless. So please, please come to Jesus while you still have time. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. When I was talking, this massive, really loud trumpet covered the whole sky. And it was so loud, and we were all so scared, we sat down on the ground and we held hands. And I knew that it was time and I was going to be taken and my parents were going to be left. It was just like I saw a figure of a man. And, and now I just started saying, oh my God, it's Jesus, it's Jesus. And I just billowing and then they parted. And then I saw like a Jesus like figure in the clouds and then I started lifting up. I started to lift up. It's like gravity was shut off. And all of a sudden I looked at my feet and my feet were literally floating up. And I was like, And this trumpet was so loud, like like it was so loud. Like literally everyone in the world heard it. You could not miss it. As I was standing there, I heard a loud sound of a trumpet. And it, and it blew for, for, for quite a while. But this one was like very, very low, like a, like a blow horn, like. So I'm sitting there and I hear this noise in the sky and, it, and it's literally like a trumpet and it's so loud. feel like God is speaking to you right now? The Bible says, seek the Lord while he can be found. Call on him while he is near. God is desperately, desperately wanting a relationship with you. And the good news is that Jesus came to give you the opportunity to have that relationship. If you would like to know God, please pray with me. Dear God, I know that I am a sinner in need of your grace. I repent of my sin and I ask you to please forgive me and come into my heart and be Lord of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, we would love to talk with you. You can call us at 727-535-PRAY or visit us online at ctnonline.com forward slash prayer. If God has spoken to you today, share the good news and remember to keep watch because we don't know the day of our Lord's return.